Hey, what's up guys? It's Pat and welcome back to Evil Minecraft. And today we are going to continue on our journey in this very, very evil world. I'm actually hoping to go into the caves today, as I mentioned last time. Maybe we can get some gear, some really important stuff, and some materials for our home. But first, we have a couple, like, really important things to do. I'm thinking we're going to need some wood. Definitely for, like, torches we'll need sticks. And I'm probably just going to need some wood in general. And we're going to need a lot of food. I mean, if we're going to go into the caves, last thing we want is to starve to death. Like, right now, we've got four chicken and five raw pork chops. It might not be enough. It might be. I'm not sure. But I want to be, you know, pretty safe on it. So I'm going to find some animals. And there looks to be um, some pigs right over there. That's good. All right. Let me just jump in here. It's like the most dangerous thing I'm going to do. Jump! Oh, man, that was close. <laughs> I don't even know if I should have done that. Oh, by the way, guys, I wanted to say thank you so much for all the support in the first episode. I was surprised to see so many likes, and I was very happy. So what I'm going to do is, as long as people are really enjoying the series, I'm going to put up episodes as much as possible. All right, give me this coal. We need it for torches. Like, really badly. What we can do is we can light up the, like, caves, like, really good so nothing spawns. That might actually be a good idea. If I can get enough coal and stuff. Enough materials for it. How much we got? We got 11. Hello. I see you staring at me. Is it because you know what's going to happen right now? I'm sorry. All right. Let's do this quick because, um, the thing is, if we wait too long, it'll become night and we won't get into the cave in time and we'll probably get killed. I know that outside at night is going to be super dangerous. Like, so much more dangerous than normal Minecraft. Oh, one more thing, guys. Really important. I know a couple people asked me, can I make it into a mod pack? And the answer is, I don't really know yet. But, um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is message all the mod creators. Give me that pork. And see if they allow me to turn it into a mod pack. And if I can, then I'll make one. I'll let you guys know. Like, I'll keep you up to date on it in the next, like, you know, couple episodes. If I hear anything back. So, yeah, I'll try. I will try to make it into a mod pack. Because I think it would be a good one. It's a great, like, survival, like, deadly mod pack. Okay, I think we got enough food. We are going to look towards the mountains. And I'm thinking maybe find a cave around there. One good thing is since we made our house at the top of a hill, we should have no problem finding it. I, I see the sun going down. Don't go down yet, please. Please don't do that. <laughs> I don't have much time. But without Ray's minimap, having our house at the top of a mountain might actually be the best thing we can do. Because we can find the mountain range easily, even if we end out a little bit further away. So, uh, we'll see what happens. What's up, sheep? How are you floating there? I see your feet are off the edge. I feel bad for you, sort of, but not really since you're, like, magical. Actually, I'm jealous. Okay, please find us... Oh, ooh, apple. Give me that apple. Need as much food as we can get, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna cook this food until I make a small shelter. Could this be a cave? Could it be a cave? Is it a cave? It is a cave. Nice. All right, we got this. Need to find a good way down. It doesn't kill us. All right, slowly. But surely. All right, how about right here? Um, yeah. Why not? Let's see. I'm trying to find, like, a good way around here. There might be, like, a bunch of stuff we can mine. And Ooh, I see a lot of iron over there. I don't see any monsters. This looks very dangerous, though, actually, this spot, doesn't it? I hear a monster. Is there a better way down? Actually, maybe over there. Oh, God. How do I get back over there? Let me climb this way. I see a good spot for maybe... Like mining. Which I'm going to be looking for things like that. Like safe mining areas. Right here is good. That's what I was trying to find. Okay. So. We need to make this safe. Making this safe is not going to be easy at all. Alright, there's lava there. So look on both sides of us. And remember, mobs can hear us when we mine. So that's going to be a problem. Okay, he's coming. Punch him. Switch to the weapon. This is our first battle. Battle to the death, and he's running kind of quick. Stop doing that. Please stop doing that. Please stop doing that. All right, we're okay. Quickly, do this. God, I'm, like, shaking, by the way. <laughs> Is that a bad sign? All right, please don't be anything around us. Okay, we're good. Turn to torches. All right, we've got torches. We've got torches. This is going to be intense, guys. Okay, it's nice and light now. Thank God. So... That is a spot we want to plug up, like, right away. Okay, got that one there. Let's see what we got on us. Okay, we got stone. Stone's going to be useful. All right. So what I'm really going to try to do is to keep everything safe. 
Like, I can mine this out and keep myself perfectly safe. That would be amazing. So I'm going to make a little base right here. I think a base is going to be the best way to do this. Because obviously nothing can spawn in here. All right, so let me take some more of this wood. And just got to fill this in right now. Oh, man. <laughs> what we must do to survive in this world, huh? All right, so um, let me see. One right there. That should be good. Okay. This is a safe area. We can get some mining done. I can set up a small base here. And nothing is going to spawn in here. I did mention that some mobs can actually, like, mine through stuff. And those are the ones that come down from the meteorites. And that can't happen in the first three days of Minecraft. So we are safe for now on that. So nothing's going to be mining through these walls that I know of. It's possible, I guess. But um, hopefully not. Okay. So we're safe. I hear zombies. There's probably massive amounts of them. But they cannot get to us. Okay, so I'm going to make us a crafting table for our little base down here. Put it right here. Did you hear what sounded to be like going through dirt? It really did sound that way for a second. I really hope not. Okay, so we need to make a furnace. That's like really important. Anyone else really paranoid that they're gonna like jump through the wall or something? Okay, so I'm gonna put this in here and we need to cook this food really badly. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna do some mining. Might as well use this pickaxe. Nah, we don't need to. Why did I, I didn't mean to switch to my weapon there. All right, so we can get plenty of coal. And I don't think I have to look on the sides of me. I don't have to be like looking at every edge, but I can hear that they're definitely on the other side of the wall right now, which is nice. Uh, we do also have a choice of being able to dig our way out straight up because we aren't far from the top of the land either. So we could safely get out of here during the day, I would think, without taking any damage at all. We can also open up one slot and just, like, you know, kill them. Of course, if there are a lot of skeletons, it would be very, very difficult. Definitely didn't mean to open up a hole. All right, so I can see a zombie, like, right over there. All right, before a skeleton comes in here. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Is my food ready? I'm starving. All right, we need to get some more wood in there. Okay, we got some cooked pork chops. And now we have real food. Oh, man, that is good food right there. Perfect. So helpful. And what we can do is get some iron and get like a full set going. What I'm thinking is if we take damage, we might as well be wearing iron while we take it. If you know what I mean. Like, why not take the lowest amount possible? Alright. So there's some iron right here. Alright, that opened up a hole. And I could see a zombie like right over there. Doesn't happen to be any more around here, does there? Checking for more iron. In this area. I can really hear them, guys. Alright, we're safe, though. So don't worry. Don't worry. We're gonna be fine. We've got all this. And this is survival at its finest. Okay, so what we can do is we can try to dig down as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make a, like, a stairway down. I mean, I'm going intense here. I don't usually do this stuff in Minecraft. Usually... Water below us. Hmm. All right, let me see what that means for us exactly here. Try to get a good view without, like, risking life. All right, can I throw down? Am I low enough to actually throw anything down here? Not quite. Oh, it would be risky, wouldn't it, to just jump down and build my way back up to try to get stairs going. Let me actually dig out a little bit more and see. <laughs> okay, so I have a shovel, too, so I can get through all this, like, dirt really easily. Alright, let's dig it out. While all our food is cooking, we should have plenty of food for, like, survival. Because I don't see anything in the water. Plus, you know, mobs don't really go very well in the water, water anyway. But one could be close and I could get shot. Honestly, I don't think we have much of a choice if I want to check to see what this is. Okay, so no, this is just an empty area filled with water. Which I'm gonna light up right now. And there's iron there. Perfect. Okay, so I need to get steps up to here. No, this is going to work out great because we're actually going to have a way like up and down. And I can get water. I can make a bucket as well since there's plenty of iron. All right, that should be good. All right, now I need to make one more step up. Let me just break this. And I don't think anything is going to be able to spawn around here. Plus, it's, you know, it's water. They can't spawn in the water. Just being extra careful as always. 
I'm just kidding. I've never been this careful before. Alright, so if I break through right here, I should have a little bit more room in my base. Alright, see- Oh! Did you hear something fall? I heard a zombie fall. Where did he fall? Alright, so we've got, um, let me- Let me take out this wood. I'm gonna need it. Let me switch to coal. Because I forgot I had so much coal that, you know, going on here. Which I should have been using before. But I'd actually rather save the wood for, um, like, sticks and stuff that I'm gonna need. Okay, so let me go down here. Should be a completely safe area. And mine out this iron. And then we can actually get some gear, maybe a bucket. Oh, man. Awesome. It's actually going better than I thought. I was assuming today we'd take some damage trying to, like, go down here. But it's working out a little better than expected. Not too bad. We'll see how much iron we actually have after I get this. So I've got ten. That's not bad. Ten iron isn't too bad at all. Let me just look around. Get a little more stone. Might get a second furnace going. And I could always make more tools and stuff. So we got 10 iron. Alright, so let's go back up. No more around here, right? Just double checking. Okay, so I'm going to get that smelting. And you can really hear them right now. I can hear tons of zombies around us. I need another one in there. Like, th they're not joking around, guys. They aren't joking around. I'm gonna make stairs the opposite way, since that way it didn't really work out very well. Oh, more iron! This is just... I'm racking up right now. I don't know how I'm finding so much iron. It is all over the place. This world loves me. Okay, a hole... Oh, no, that is to the other area, right? Okay, so I can kind of mine that out. That's not a big deal. I've got it all lit up. <laughs> it sounds like there's about a hundred zombies, though. <laughs> like, right next to me. All right, let me toss this in the furnace. All right, so I've got three made so far. I've got six more, so we're going to have 16. Okay, so thinking about it, what do we need the most? I mean, I'm thinking an iron sword is going to be almost a must-have right now to be able to kill the mobs that attack us quicker. If we get jumped, we're going to need the best weapon possible, so I'm going to go iron sword on this one. All right, I have some crap, too. I'm going to throw it somewhere. <laughs> Hold on a sec. What I'm going to do is just um, throw away some of my stuff right here. Like, I don't need this wooden pickaxe. Throw it away. I, I meant to throw it in the hole. That was a fail. All right, there we go. And we also do not need this wooden sword. Is it day? I hear everything dying. <laughs> I need to look. This just sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Oh, skeleton. Shouldn't have done that. All right, we're fine. Don't worry. Um, all right. Don't worry. I just wanted to get a quick look at what was going on. And there we go. Okay, we're safe. But yeah, it sounds like it's day. From the, you know, sound of what we just heard there. It sounded pretty ridiculous. But I still hear them. I want to go out and grab bones and stuff, but I'm just, I'm pretty sure it's too dangerous. All right, so what we can do now is we can make a chest plate. And this is going to be like our best defensive thing we can make right now. Iron chest plate. So if we get hit, we're going to be okay. It's not going to do too much. All right, so I was making stairs down. Where was I going to do those? Oh, I was going this way. All right. Ooh, and more coal. Perfect. Let me put up some more torches around here. Got to make sure this is like really lit up. All right, perfect. And, oh, we do need another stone pickaxe in one second. I'll just mine it out first. Should break any second. There we go. I like saying it like I'm happy. Like, there we go. It's broken. All right, so I'll make one more stone pickaxe. I'm not going to waste it on iron because I, I don't have enough iron. <laughs> I guess that's the real reason. I was going to say because I wanted to save it for other stuff. All right, perfect. We've got plenty of coal now. Getting materials. And yeah, we're gonna head deeper into this as we can. Oh my god, even more right here. That is amazing. And yeah, it sounds really, really safe around me. It, it sounds so safe. Nice. I just want to get like a good set going, you know what I mean? Before I'm gonna actually have to engage in combat, I know I'm gonna take damage from skeletons. I just want to make sure that I actually have gear on that can protect me from most of the damage so we don't have to worry too much. All right, perfect. I mean, we can make golden apples. We're going to need to find gold and stuff. 
as we go mining deeper into this cave system, which we're gonna have to do. Okay, I'm getting so much coal. This is amazing. This is a ridiculous amount right here. All right, I'm gonna grab it all. I don't want it. I don't want it to go to waste or anything. It's like never ending though. It's obviously daytime though, because I keep hearing them like burning to death out there. All right, how do I get out of this thing that I just did? I got six more. Not too bad. So I can make legs. Which would be really helpful right now. All right, nice mining patch. All right, so no one's in my base, right? That's what I don't want. Okay, so this is done. No, we've got six. And if I put six more in, we're going to have 12. So that should be plenty for our legs and stuff. Let me see. How safe is it? It's like, it's nerve-wracking to even look, to be honest. Um. It actually doesn't look too bad. Like, we might be able to get out of here. Like, when we're ready. But first, I want to make sure I get all this stuff set up. Alright, so I've got eight. So let's make pants. And there we go. So we got two things on now. I mean, we have like half our armor bar is filled. And how much more do we have got smelting? We're gonna have um, five. So I should have enough for a helmet as well. All I'm gonna need is the boots and I'm gonna have the full iron set. That is amazing. Okay, so all the iron's done. And now we've got a helmet as well. So we're just missing the boots. So I think the next episode we're gonna be ready to go deeper into here. We're pretty safe. We've got an iron sword. We've got full gear on pretty much. So if we do take damage, it's not gonna be much. I think this actually worked out really good. Very good progress today. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribed. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.